I'm really optimistic about what medicine and healthcare is going to look like a, a decade from now. So when we hit 2030 or so, just think about all of a person's data at every level, not just their electronic record, but the wearable sensors that they're using, all their biologic layers, their environment sensor data, all of this being continuously assessed with the entire corpus of the medical literature relevant to that person and getting real-time uh, coaching for a patient to prevent a condition or to help manage a condition that already exists. And that also can be used by the doctor with the patient. So many conditions that we have today can be preventable. We've already seen, for example, asthma attacks when the city of Louisville gave out connected inhalers to all the people who were asthmatics in that region. There was a 50% reduction of asthma attacks and a 70% reduction of the need to use an inhaler. That's just one example how you could prevent a condition when you have data and you're feeding that data back to the patient. The way the Air Louisville project worked is that the hotspots where asthma attacks were occurring, which were unknown to other residents in the region, were all provided. And it's just like when you are looking at a traffic map of which road to go on. It's the same kind of story, but here you're using inhalers uh, that have a connected sensor. And it's just the elemental beginning of what uh, data provided back to people can help prevent medical uh, disease and conditions.